So, how's it going out there? Hopefully everybody is being okay and staying safe and doing this social distancing or self-isolating because apparently nobody is essential. No job is essential, but you have to have a job to be essential to pay your essential bills. So, with that being said, push came to shove when I took a trip to the store to go get some food, which is a necessity. So, there was none. So, I figure, okay, I'm going to get on the ball push is coming to shove and if i want to at least have some liquid chicken or anything i need to get on the ball so this is what i did i went to the store today and they told me that chickens will be in tomorrow or babies will be in tomorrow so i have to go back tomorrow and we'll see what they have but for right now to get me on the ball and for that light over there you it's my daylight light so here goes no lighting. So we're gonna turn this around and show y'all what I've been doing today. So I went to Walmart and got me one of these totes. This is the size of mine. If you wanna pause it right there, you can pause it and look at it. It's uh, 36 by 21 by 19 tote. It's got wheels over here. I also had me a shipment of water delivered since that the stores are saying you can only get so much water per person per household per day. So I went to Tractor Supply and I got these things. Y'all know what these are. These are chicken waters. And if you if you put the put something in there like a little rock or something to put it or just stick your finger in it every now and again. You can hold this down in the, and they'll have water until they get big enough and learn how to peck this thing. And then you can up these to a bucket when they move outside into their bigger containers. Okay, so like I said, I don't have chickens today. And this is just a one of those big Gatorade bottles. And I'm going to put one on this side right here on this side of the bottle so that nobody's fighting over water. Okay, so let's get on to this. Now, I looked it up on the internet. And you know what they say? don't believe everything you see and only half of what you hear okay so i did the whole chicken wire or uh hardware cloth it's actually metal so i drilled a bunch of holes and did this here one of these things is missing on it but i'll have to go and see if i can't either change out the bottom part tomorrow and see what they'll let me do if they'll give me some kind of refund or just let me exchange the bottom so that I have two locks for the lid. So, like I said, I looked on the internet and the intercept desk says you don't necessarily need shavings, like wood shavings or bunny shavings or hamster shavings for your chicklings. So, I actually asked a guy on YouTube and he says, no, you don't need that not necessarily you can use what you have on hand as long as it's bedding so i'm a couponer and i buy the sunday paper well coupons are obsolete right now because there's nothing to coupon for so i just happen to have newspapers laying around so i shredded up a bunch of my newspapers and i laid it down here in the bottom now once i get everything done my waterer as you can see we'll put it We'll probably put it like over here so see it'll be just at the right height for the chickens to be able to walk up and get into it so it's not necessarily going to be that high now i'm not going to spend a whole bunch of money because i priced them i priced out the water bottles at the store the chicken watering bottles and they are in in our store in our area they're about 650 a bottle this thing right here the bottle came with soda in or with Gatorade in it. And it was pretty much free after that. So, I'm not buying a waterer. Plus, I already had on hand from a couple of years ago all these zip ties. And yeah, I know they're all different colors. But hey, a colorful thing is fine. The hardware cloth cost about... Um, I think it was somewhere in between five and seven dollars for this one and it's the smallest you can see it's the smallest you can get besides going down to actual like window screen and the reason I bought that one is because it goes up here and 
last year we had a rodent come through the screen even though we don't have snakes coming through the screen i don't need no snakes on my porch so we're going to find another bottle laying around here somewhere and we're going to see how to make an automatic feeder oh lord have mercy this thing is messing me all up over here but anyway so we're going to make an automatic feeder or a gravity feeder for the chickies so that way all i have to do is take a lid off of it and fill it up instead of take it out and scare them half to death because i've seen a lot of videos where people take their feeders out and when they take them out the chickens run for run for the hills as they say they get scared and they run and i was talking to a woman and she said if they get scared too too often say if you're reaching in and grabbing them i haven't seen it but like i said believe half nothing of what you see and half of what you hear or something like that so anyway I don't want my chickens dying on me because I reached in there too many times taking their food away from them or refilling their food bottles or their water bottles so I just put something in there that I can take the lid off of and you know put a funnel on the top of it and fill it from a funnel these little um, cluckety cluck water things they don't leak unless the little yellow thing on the inside is pushed down so it's not like you're putting it in and water is constantly running out of it so anyway that's what i've been up to today and like i said i'm going to find something laying around here and make a feeder that'll probably be a tomorrow video but for right now you guys stay safe don't go stir crazy don't get cabin fever don't go out in public and for sure don't rob a bank with a booger okay so until next time see you guys thanks for watching